Hi, it's Rick here from the CAD Jewelry School and today we're going to be learning how to draw this heart shape. Uh, now rather than draw it freehand using some of the curve tools, we're actually going to use some of the geometry that's obviously inherent in a circle and an arc uh, to make this. So I'm going to start off uh, in the top viewport and the first thing uh, just to make sure is that your uh, object snaps toolbar is on at the bottom of your screen and we want to put a check in the end snap end and in the quad snap so next we're just going to draw a circle right here from the center so under the drawing tab from the icons on your toolbar just select a circle <coughs> when asked for the center of the circle we're going to click right in the center of our grid. Now that position here at the center of our grid is known as 0 comma 0. And it's asking for a diameter here. You'll see mine is already set to a diameter of 10 millimeters. If yours is not, just type in the word 10 and press enter. So that's great. We've got our circle which is actually going to be one part of this heart shape. Now I'm just going to um, click on it make sure your gumball menu is on as well and I'm just going to push this across oh, probably about there now we want to copy this across to the opposite side of our centerline grid here so we're going to mirror that uh, circle so we're going to go to the transform tool and click on mirror it asks us for a mirror plane. We're going to use that center point again, 0, comma 0 as our midpoint. And what we should have now is two circles with a slight overlap between the middle there. We're going to trim those bits away later on. So we'll go back to our drawing tab now and this time we're going to use an arc. So we'll select from the drawing tab an arc and again it's asking us where the center of our arc is going to start now we're going to click right across on the right hand side uh, quadrant of that second circle and click on the left hand side of the first circle we drew and you'll see that we can actually drag our arc downwards form the bottom part of this heart shape. So just drag somewhere there as long as you've gone past the midpoint somewhere. And if we want to do the other side again we can click on the arc tool. And this time we'll go, we'll start on this side, come across to here and do something similar. So now all that's left to do is to trim uh, the unnecessary parts down and um, we'll switch on the control points just to adjust the, the height of this heart a little bit. So uh, I'm going to select everything, all of these curves here and we'll use the trim tool. With everything selected I can just click on the bits that I don't want removing those elements from my shape. Now you can see, as I say, it's a little long, so what we're going to do is firstly join these separate curves together. And once we've done that, we can switch on the control points. So you can either switch on the control points by clicking on the icon here, Edit Point, or you can hit the F10 button. And you can see the control points here. If I scroll in a little bit, you'll see them a little more clearly here. But I'm just going to uh, draw a bounding box just by clicking on my left mouse button and holding that down to select this bottom group of control points. And using my gumball transformation tool, I'm just going to drag those up just till it starts to look about right. And if I'm happy with that, I can just hit the escape key to turn off the control points. And that's basically it. That's my heart shape. So if you want to tweak this a little further, you can obviously switch on the control points again and play around with some of these curves here till you get the sort of shape that you're after. And hit escape 
to switch the points off. Okay, that's it. That's how to create a heart using some simple curve tools in Rhino Gold. Thanks.